All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to create your very own server inside of Discord. Because, you know, you could be a part of a bajillion different servers, but it's always nice to have your own private server that you can invite your friends to, and you have complete control, and nobody can tell you what to do in your own little fiefdom. So to that effect, all you have to do is go over to the sidebar and click to add a server. And you can do one of two things. You can start yourself with a template, and these templates are actually relatively nice. Um, you can say, like, I want to hang out in game, or I want to set one up for friends, or it's a school club, or it's for artists and creators, more of a professional adult atmosphere. And those are actually not bad. We could start with, like, a gaming one for, like, me and my friends. And then we can call this um, the cool... Now what we say, this is the Night Rain um, Boogaloo. And then we can add a weird sort of profile picture to it. I like to use the Rando Is character to do different things. So I'll just click one of these. And then we'll create that server. And now inside of the server, they actually start you with some basic channels to begin with. Uh, a general chat channel, a clips and highlights channel a lobby and a gaming voice channel, and that's fine. Most of these just kind of suggest to you what to use the different channels for. But one of the things you probably want to do, depending on if it's just close friends or if there's other people, is you may want to create a uh, info category. So let's start by making a category. Let's just say like server info. And we can drag this up to the top. And then inside of here, we can create a rules channel and that'll just be a check a text channel and then here we'll say you know just like a couple rules be civil no politics because that always gets people really feisty um no racial slurs or racism Don't spam, and then, you know, whatever else you want to put in here. You can say don't cuss if you want, like no profanity, no spamming links, keep your Twitch links and YouTube channel in the personal spam channel. And then there you go. You can make it so that people can say that's the rules channel and they can't pretend like they don't know it's there. Now, for permissions, that's something you also need to keep in mind is if I go to edit channel, I want to go to permissions and for everyone, I want them to be able to view this channel, but I don't want them to be able to send messages in this channel. I don't want them to be able to edit or spam anything in here. Only I or one of my uh, admins, if I set that up, can do that in a minute. The other thing you probably want to do is you could set up an announcement channel. This would be where you can similarly set it up so that only you, everyone can view it, but they cannot uh, send messages here. And this is where you'd put like news where you could say at everyone, tonight, Turbo Death Lasers comes out, so grab your copy and be ready at 5 p.m. EST. And now everybody who's a part of the server will get pinged to say, hey, we're going to do a thing tonight, make sure you're there. And then I don't know what other stuff you might want. Um, there's actually like a, a system on my own personal Chupacabra Lair thing for server updates because they like to spam the discord news to a channel i post my newest videos to a channel and i've got the server rules you can also have a welcome mat this will announce when people have joined your server so we could do that let's move this down here to the very bottom actually this will just be here for my temporary tutorial so then we can say we've got a general chat here. We can also have like a news, tech news channel. You could have um, 
random pictures. Shit posting for memes, because that's just a good place to have people to be able to dump all their garbage that you don't really care about in here. And then a lot of servers, because people all want to become the next big streamer, you can do like the self promo spam where people can join you, but they can also turn this off if they don't want to get uh, pinged all the time. Similarly, you can have different uh, channels for gaming. Like this could just be like general chat. We can edit this by hitting the gear, call that general chat, hit enter. And if you have a better, fancier um, server, you can even boost the bit rate to have slightly better quality for people who are talking in that channel. And you can also get better video quality, although, you know, this is a brand new server, so I don't have access to that necessarily right now. And that's, that's looking pretty good. Now, the only other thing we might want to do is you might want to make some private channels, just for shits and giggles, where you can go into your server, server settings, and we can adjust a few things here. Um, we don't really have the, uh, the ability to set like a custom banner, but you could set a custom banner color if you want for the server. And you can set these server traits to define your server's interests and personality. This is really more important if you're going to make the server public or semi-public. Uh, same with having a description and uh, talking about what kind of games you play. Not really super important. You can leave your server private or not. This just prevents people who aren't members of your server from seeing content here. Because you can forward certain content. Like if I post in the main channel, I can forward it like an email so that other people can see it. Um, but what we really want to pay attention to is we really want to pay attention to the members list, which is down here. This is where you'd see all the different members who are a part of your server. But you can also adjust the roles, which is what I want to do right now. So let's create a member role. Cool member person. And we'll say that their icon is going to be a tealish green. Yeah, I like that. And then we can give them some special permissions. We'll display them separately in the sidebar. That way they have their own little section or category to, to be seen. Um, I don't want people to mention this role specifically because it's kind of pointless. It's a general purpose role. And then I want them to be able to view channels, no managing channels, no managing roles. They don't need to create expressions or manage them. Those are like emojis and stickers and soundboard sounds. But I wouldn't mind if they were able to create an invite link and invite other friends, change their nickname. They can, I don't need them to manage other people's nicknames. That's unnecessary. They don't need to be able to ban or kick people, but they should be able to send messages. They should be able to send messages in individual threads. I'll show that in another tutorial. They should be able to create public threads, create private threads. Embed links is fine. Attach files is fine. Add reactions. Use external emoji. Use stickers. Mention people. If you're going to make this public, I don't recommend letting people add everybody, but if it's your trusted friends, go ahead. Just because people like to jump into your server, spam a bunch of spam links to viruses, and then leave. Getting like six pings from one server over nothing is really annoying. Um, they can read message history, send text to, actually, no, I'm going to leave that off. I don't like text to speech messages. It gets really annoying really fast. Unless you have somebody, <coughs> unless you have somebody who doesn't actually have a microphone, then you can turn this on for convenience. Um, they should be able to send voice messages. They can create polls. They can connect, speak. I mean, most of these are on by default unless I determine that they're off in, like, the everyone tag, which they are on. They can use voice activity. They can use external sounds. They don't need priority speaker, I don't think. They shouldn't be able to mute or deafen people or move people. Uh, they can set voice channel status. That's fine. It's a meaningless thing anyway. And then what kind of app permissions does this normally have? We can leave these turned on. Eh, they don't need to be able to manage events. That's that, that adds things to the calendar on the server. I'll leave that up to admins and moderators for the server. We can hit save. And then we can add on a new role. We can call this moderator. 
And the moderators will be purple. And then from here, they'll have a separate role. And then under permissions, they'll be able to kick people. They can change nickname and manage nicknames. And they can kick and reject members and ban members if necessary and time them out. Timing them out just means you can't communicate on the server or do anything, but you can just sit there and read and see everything. They can mention people. They can manage messages, which means deleting them, and manage threads, which again means deleting them. Read message history. They can send text to speech. And then they can mute people, deafen people, and move them. Set voice channel status is fine. Yeah, that should be good. And I want them listed higher than the members in the sidebar because that means that they're higher in the hierarchy. That actually does matter for the way that permissions are set up on Discord. And then if you want to make an admin, admins are super easy. You can just create a new role, make it red or yellow or whatever, call this admin. And then the only thing that's different here is if you go down to the bottom, there's an administrator perk. This gives you all permissions. So be careful who you give this to. And then hit save. And we'll put this here at the top. We do also want these to be displayed separately on the sidebar. Allow, um, display it here. Here it is, at the top. There you go. These are, just, these are separated into several tabs. Display, permissions, links. Um, this is where you can link different roles together. But I'll go over how that works in a future tutorial because I, I'm not 100% on all of its details yet. And then, of course, you can see which members have these different uh, rankings here in the Manage member section. So if somebody is on the server that shouldn't have a uh, moderator tag, you'll be able to fix that whenever you want by clicking on Moderator and going to Manage Members with the moderator tag and looking through the list. Sometimes a good idea to do that, just uh, especially on a larger server, because it allows you to keep people from hiding the things that they have. And then that's pretty much it. You can invite your friends, jump into a chat channel together, and have a basic conversation. And the way that you invite them is you hover over any one of these channels, click on the little people icon with a plus symbol next to it, and then you can create a, an invite link. And you can adjust how these work. You can say it's, it expires after 30 minutes, one hour, six hours, seven days, or never. And you can generate that link and copy that. And then you can paste this wherever you want. And it'll invite you to the whatever server. And they can click this button and they'll join. Uh, and that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a basic look at how to set up a server using uh, a start of a from scratch template. The templates can be both complicated or not, but they're a pretty decent way to do that. You can also uh, borrow a template, have your friends save their server as a template if you want, and you can just look that up in the template section and create it based off of that if you want, if you like how your friend sets their server up. So that's sort of the basics. I'll go over more advanced stuff in the future. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.